The CEO for Vault Technologies, Tiffany Tate, is joining me now to discuss the importance of preparing for a public health crisis, how the right software can help manage a pandemic, and the need to address systematic inequalities in healthcare. So thank you so much for joining us, and I understand you've developed an application marrying public health with technology through something called PrepMod. So what exactly is that and how does it work? Thank you so much for having me. PrepMod is a tool that really revolutionized the way that we handled pandemics. Um, it's a mass vaccination application. Actually, it's a mass public health application. So you can, anytime you're doing uh, public health services on a large scale, you can use a tool like this to automate the manual processes. So in the old days where people would have to call and be on hold forever just to get an appointment, you can now use a tool like this where you go online Put in your zip code, your address, and the proximity where you're seeking, and it gives you a list of all the clinics that are near you. It lets you know what services are being provided. And so PrepMod was used during the pandemic to automate all these processes and accelerate, ultimately accelerate the pandemic response. Yeah. So would you say that that's what kind of inspired this technology? So what's, what inspired the technology is uh, several years before the pandemic, I was running a program that provided health services in schools, a company that provides health services in schools and other community settings. The first year that we did this, we ended up with 10,000 pieces of paper because you need to get consent or permission from a parent in order to provide a health service to their child in their absence. And so I had all this paper that needed to be transcribed so that I could bill insurance companies so that we could report it to government databases. And I said, there's got to be a better way. Also, I always had in the back of my mind after the H1N1 pandemic in 2009, where everything was so manual, we had lines that were wound around the block, you know, countless people standing in lines in the dead of winter using um, clipboards and papers and pens to, 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 you know, provide all their information. And then we also had this bank of data entry people putting all this information in in real time that reminds you of like the 1950s. And I was thinking there has to be a better, better way to do this. And I had been hired by several states and several jurisdictions to be a consultant for their H1N1 pandemic. And one of the things I did when I looked at all this line, these lines and crowd management, it reminded me of Disney. And so I had my assistant track down the person who created the technology for the Disney fast pass to learn how to manage these, um, people during that pandemic. And, but I said, we cannot have another pandemic where we're doing things like the 1950s. And so um, when I created PrepMa just as a solution for my own personal business uh, to be able to collect these consent forms in an electronic format, um, I also always was thinking about the next pandemic. And in healthcare and in public health, we don't say when there's another pandemic. If there's another pandemic, we always say when there is another pandemic because another pandemic is coming and we need to be prepared. Yeah, better to be safe than sorry. So where can we go for more information on everything, Tiffany? So you can go to our website. It's vaulttechinc.com, and you can learn about an ecosystem that we've created. It's called the PM Ecosystem, and it is comprised of a bunch of miniature programs that do very specific things in healthcare and public health, and it allows the client to build their own adventure. Every single state and every single county and jurisdiction has different needs based on their population. And so we don't believe in cookie cutter solutions where people have to, everybody has to use the same system. Instead, we've built our, our, our technical architecture in a way that people can say, well, I want inventory management and I want patient registration and I want scheduling. And another person might say, oh, we want only messaging and uh, patient matching. They can build all of this together. And so you can learn about that on our website, um, as well as a lot of programs that we have, because one of the really important things in terms of health equity and public health and healthcare is having a diverse workforce, people who understand the different populations. Uh, right now we have uh, public health is dominated mostly by women. There's There are a bunch of women and not a lot of people of color in this space. And so we have two programs in our organization that uh, are designed to bring in more uh, diversity. So we have a program, a training program where we've been training people in Ghana. We trained young men in Ghana to be software engineers. Um, and we also have trained, we're now starting a program where we're training young women in Jamaica to be software engineers because there aren't a lot of software engineers who are female. Um, and what we've learned from the pandemic is that we are all connected, whether we are in the United States or outside. And so we wanna build these relationships with other nations, uh, raise the awareness about the importance of uh, interoperability and engaging the diverse uh, backgrounds of folks so that we can build systems that that work really well um, 
in in times of pandemic and and not so we've got that training program and then we also have an internship where we bring young people into our company and they can learn about software engineering um, project management uh, quality assurance so we're really committed to bringing and developing the next uh, generation of public health technologists as well as meeting the needs of our clients um, currently well thank you tiffany for joining us today and telling us all about it Thank you so much for having me, and I'd be happy to come back and talk about any other uh, things you want to talk about related to health care, public health, and health equity. Wonderful. And everyone at home, if you'd like to see this interview again, you can head to First Coast News Plus.